Hey guys, Aaron Cybertron Zhang here, and today I'm back with another episode of Showdown Throwdown, my Showdown VGC 2019 series that I'm only doing for around a week or so before Battlespot rules update so I can actually play Road to Ranked. So Road to Ranked is going to be here on September 4th once the rules update in-game, but I wanted to start getting the 2019 content out for you guys and also wanted to get acclimated with the format a little bit myself. Thank you for the support on yesterday's episode. I didn't play very well and I made some key blunders, especially with the Evil Tall and Psychic Terrain, but definitely will try to be a little bit better today. Of course, I'm very new to the format, so I'm learning as well. And as always, if you guys enjoyed this series and enjoyed the 2019 content in general, please share support by leaving a like in the video. I'd really appreciate it. Anyway, today we'll just be playing with the Kyogre Groudon team that I used a little bit more, and it's not going to be a fun first game here, I think, with the Smear Xerneas. So Xerneas Kyogre, which I actually used at the end of VGC 2018, which I think is really strong. Um, how do I want to approach this? Let's see. Cresselia plus Ludicolo is tempting. Ah, oh, Cresselia Fire Thorn's not bad here. It's just that you can taunt me immediately, but then Xerneas doesn't do much damage. Definitely want Kyogre, or sorry, Groudon here. Um, do I want Kyogre? Kyogre's still decent. I'll still bring Kyogre. I don't like this matchup too much for me, and I think it's gonna be Xerneas Smear Girl's elite. Yep. Um, so that's a free, like I get to Trick Room and Gyro Ball, you can only fake out one of these two. You can potentially spore the Cresselia or taunt it as well. Um, but I am like max special defense Cresselia, max HP. And the only thing is that maybe two Moonblast knocks me out without activating my berry, which is kind of annoying. Uh, Gyro Ball doesn't knock out Xerneas, but it should two-shot it. And the Smeargle could follow me as well, but then I would just get Trick Room up. Um, the main issue with Smeargle is that it's almost always going to carry Wide Guard, so I can't just spam Water Spout, otherwise I'd lead Ludicolo Kyogre. Um, like, I could just fake out Water Spout, but then the Smeargle's probably just going to protect turn 1. I guess one thing I could have done is let Ludi Kyogre f uh, fake out Smeargle Water Spout turn 1. You probably double protect, so I'd actually not, like, I'd switch Ludicolo out into Ferrothorn. Uh, and then go next turn Water Spout Gyro Ball, so it's like if you Wide Guard, I still get the Gyro Ball off, and if you don't Wide Guard, then you know, I just get the Water Spout off. Yeah. Let's turn on this timer. The main issue here is that it's annoying because I have to focus my attention on both of these Pokemon where I want Trick Room up, but even if I get Trick Room up, I can't just spam with Groudon uh, with Precipice Blades because of the fact that uh, Smear goes Wide Guard. But I'm going to Gyro Ball to Xerneas turn 1 ideally just to pressure on with damage. Xerneas could protect here as well. Um, it's actually going to switch out, okay? And Smeargle's just gonna spore me, that's fine. Uh, Gyro Ball actually gets some decent chip damage, and I'll take a turn. Uh, forcing that out is nice, I'm just gonna go for a Trick Room here for, again. Uh, and I'm gonna Gyro Ball the Smeargle here. Smeargle could King Shield, but I think you'd have to be worried about Power Whip going into Kyogre. Although I actually don't have Power Whip, I have Knock Off. Yeah, he's just gonna follow me, and Origin Pulse, that's fine. You can see Cresselia is so tanky, it takes that really, really easily. If I wake up here, that's really good, and I do wake up. Nice. Cool. Uh, it gets an evasion boost, though, which can be kind of scary. It's probably gonna follow me again. I'm just gonna double up on Kyogre. Oh, he actually doesn't. And it's actually Scarf Ogre, interesting. Uh, so he's gonna put me to sleep and probably just Origin Pulse again. Actually misses me. Yeah, you can see <laughs> his evasion increases again. So hitting the Smeargle is actually gonna be kind of a problem. Although I do have gravity to increase my accuracy. Um, Gyro Ball will come close to knocking out, but I don't think it will. I'll just try to knock out Smeargle. He's probably gonna King Shield, but that's fine. Yeah, Kyogre's not really doing much damage to either of my two Pokemon. Although it is annoying because I could have knocked out Smeargle last turn, which would have been really, really beneficial for me. But no worries. Um, my opponent just doesn't have good answers against this Ferrothorn right now. So I'm glad I brought it into this matchup. It's just the evasion increase that's kind of scary. Let's see. Is he going to time out? <laughs> no. And I miss. Great. Uh, he's water spouting, which is a curious decision. Maybe it is just a chip Cresselia down. I'm just gonna keep going for Trick Room and Gyro Ball. Yeah, this is obviously why everyone hates playing against Smeargle, but I do hate the Gyro Ball there finally, which is nice. Only missed once. 
Uh, Origin Pulse actually misses the Cresselia. I would have preferred it to hit there. Oh, why did I trick room? That was a misclick. Whoops. I meant a Psychic. <laughs> That's kind of funny. No worries. I think I still win the game here anyway. Um, yeah, I was just clicking buttons there. That's bad. I'll just go for another Trick Room and Gyro Ball here. I think Kyogre Groudon just wins me the game anyway at this point. Yeah, you can't stop both of my Pokemon. Although he does get a Freeze. But, oh, he actually just targets on the Ferrothorn. Okay. So I basically reset my Trick Room and I'm just in a Helping Hand and... Press Miss Blades. That switch out's fine. As long as I hit. Nice. Yeah. Groudon's still really strong. Now you get to carry a Life Orb as well, which is obviously kind of cool. Um, is there any way I could win this game guaranteed? I'd probably just Psychic the Xerneas. Uh, even if I miss... I think I want to switch out here. Psychic should knock that out. I want to reset the weather. Yeah. Yep. Cool. And he's just going to Origin Pulse. So yeah, if it hit earlier, I would have just healed back with my Barry anyway. So obviously I blundered once by resetting my Trick Room, but I was so far ahead that I f figured I was fine anyway. And my Thunder will just get the knockout here, so nice. Good game to start today, as we're just climbing up. I feel like, um, yeah, my opponent switching out was interesting, I feel like. But it's obviously it's like, do you really want to set up a Xerneas in front of Cresselia and uh, Ferrothorn? Maybe not. Um, so Smeargle could have been scary, but fortunately enough, was not too much of an issue. Uh, we've got an opposing Ludi Kyogre here, which is scary. I am Scarf though, so maybe I still want to just go my Oakum Kyogre and Ludi. Mm, it's tempting. I think I roll, honestly. It's still really good. And I can see who's faster based off the abilities. And then I want... I might go Crest Groudon as the back too. Yeah. I think Coco and Pharaoh are both pretty good here though, but uh, I want to counter the Amoongus a little bit more. Groudon beats everything except the Ludicolo. And I think because you see my Ferrothorn, you've got to be a little bit more scared of just leading Rain immediately. Mm, maybe I, I don't know. I like Ludi Kyogre because it's like if my opponent's dissuaded from bringing Ludi Kyogre because of the fear of my Rain, um, then I'm in a pretty good spot. Although the more I think about it, the more I suppose you're not going to lead Incineroar most likely. Um, my opponent is going to lead Coco and Kyogre, which I'll take any day. Yeah, and so that's actually exactly like what I wanted to see. Because I can just Water Spout here. Um, question is, who's going to protect or switch out? Uh, water Spout damage is consistent and free. I think Ludi would switch out if you had it in the back, and you'd probably protect one of these two guys. Um, Assault Vest Coco is always something to worry about as well. I think you'd protect Kyogre and probably switch that out into Ludicolo. Yep. Let's see. Does Kyogre protect? Yep. Cool. So I call that correctly. It's still not exactly the best. Um, I mean, I get a lot of good damage off. It's actually very good damage, but still. Now it's like, okay. Well, I'm definitely going to switch out into Crest here, and I think... Uh, go for the Grass out against Kyogre. Yeah. How much did Grass not do that first time? Ooh, another one might knock him out, actually. So maybe I should be prioritizing knocking out Ludi here, yeah. I'm just gonna switch out because Scarf Ogre is really good against the rest of my opponent's team, so if I knock out the Ludi Colo, then I can have a really good late game. Interesting enough, Electric Terrain is set up, so Thunder will also do more damage, so if I bring it out, Thunder one-shots Kyogre on my opponent's end, and I've got the speed advantage. So I don't get the Mac out there, unfortunately, but he's just going to grass on me as well. And he's Life Orb, so we actually faint, which is great. Uh, and he's going to Thunder Ludi. Doesn't paralyze me, though. I actually did less than I anticipated, but I am Assault Vested, I guess. I kind of forgot about that. Either way, that's a really good first two turns, I think. Uh, lead matchup, I got what I was hoping for. Um, not Yeah, if, if it was Ludi Kyogre, it's just like my Kyogre is threatened immediately. So anything else, and it's pretty good. So let's see what my opponent brings in. Um, either, like, Ludicolo's in a really prime position right now, and I can even trick her potentially and sweep with Groudon. So lots of possibilities and lots of plays I can make right now. I think you have to bring out the Sogalio if you brought it. And if you didn't bring it, then I feel like this game is just over. So, let's see. Right, okay, just brings out Coco, that's fine with me. 
I'm just gonna helping hand and scald the Coco, because I predict Kyogre protecting here. Yeah, it might be an aggressive play, but then I could just pave the way for Trick Room. I want to knock out Coco, um, just because it has Threat of Taunt. Even Water Spouts against Cresselia will probably just activate my Berry. Um, actually, no, it won't activate my Berry here, but you'd have to, like, the one play I'm worried about is Coco protecting Kyogre uh, Thundering Ludicolo, but I think that's pretty risky to do in front of a Ludicolo. And if that was a low, like, high damage roll the first time around, maybe I can actually survive this time around. So let's see. Mm -mm. Yeah, I think my goal, and he's actually gonna swap out, it's actually Incineroar in the back, okay. Does Coco protect? Nice. Yeah, that should be game. Yeah, I figured that was... Yeah, my opponent just forfeits there. Um, interesting to see Sogalio, or sorry, not was, was that Sogalio or Necrozma? I forget which one. Yeah, interesting to see that not come out. Uh, the sixth one's gonna be tricky. Uh, Aegislash and Whimsica, which both I think give Cresselia a lot of problems. Um, I don't know what Lunala does, honestly, whatsoever. So that'll be interesting. Mm, what would my opponent need here? Something like Aegislash or Zarnius could be scary. I think I'm gonna want to go Ferrothorn for sure. Counters these guys. Counters all of these guys, honestly. Ferrothorn. Uh, maybe Cress. Just the Dragon Trick Room. Crowd on. And Kyogre potentially to sweep in the late game. Yeah. I don't like this matchup too much. I also don't know what Lunala does at all, so I'm about to find out. Let's see. I'm actually gonna look it up real quick. Um, right, so I believe it takes less damage. Look at me learning right now. Moonguy's Beam, Ghost Special, that does way too much damage. Um, okay. Psychic Ghost, I mean, I could just knock off here. And I guess I'll still try to Trick Room. Ooh, he's gonna double up on Ferrothorn. Oh, he's not? Why, why would you fake tiers 1 and then attack the other with Moonguy's Beam? That just doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> I mean, I'll take it, but what? Uh, I'm just gonna knock off and helping hand, because even if you encore me, I'll get my helping hand off first. Okay, he's gonna swap out an Incineroar, but now you don't have any damage presence really, and I get rid of Incineroar's item. It's a Pasho Berry. This one's got actually has Grass Knot. Okay, it's Life Orb. That's cool. Um, I probably want to conserve Ferrothorn because it beats everything in the back. Yeah, this game could have been a lot scarier if my opponent just doubled up. Now, uh, me protecting here is kind of obvious, though. I think I'm actually just gonna try to knock out Whimsicott with helping and Gyro Ball. Because, like, me protecting Ferrothorn is really obvious, or switching out. Um, and I know the Whimsicott is Grass Knot with Life Orb, so that's actually a really big threat to Kyogre and Groudon, so I don't want to switch in for free immediately. Um, but he's gonna swap out. Okay, that's fine. And yeah, he's gonna knock off the crest. Great. So that's a switching into Groudon. And I'm just gonna Precipice Blades, I think. Yeah, Precipice Blades and Gyro Ball. I think I've pinned my opponent into a pretty good spot here. The only issue is. Okay, so I know Lunala doesn't have Protect because I know obviously he had the Choice Specs, and nice, just gives me the knockouts here. Ooh, he actually has Will O Wisp Incineroar. And I miss Precipice Blades. Okay, that's not fun. Mm, that is definitely kind of annoying. He's actually slower than me as well. Um, but I think I'm just gonna switch into Kyogre, which can take a Flare Blitz now. Uh, Whimsicott should probably protect here. Leech Seed and. Uh, if you Flare Blitz me, though, I'm still in a lot of trouble. Ah, uh, Miss is annoying. Just because it would be in KO range otherwise, but oh well. You should probably protect Whimsicott here for my opponent, I would think. And Flare Blitz Ferrothorn. Yeah, you're not gonna grass off that, I think. So I'm gonna switch out and Swords Dance just so I can pressure Incineroar with a knockout next turn. Uh, he actually ended up not protecting Whimsicott though, so he might just be Grass Knotting Groudon. 
Yeah, I really thought you should protect there, but nice call not to. Okay, um, we don't Origin Pulse, Gyro Pull. Yeah, I didn't play this game too well, I think. Could have been better. Um, okay. Just gives me that knockout, though. I mean, it's, if his last one's Xerneas and Grassland actually doesn't knock me out, I just win the game now, no? I thought surely Incineroar protects or switches out there. And it's Xerneas, okay. So I think I just win this one, but I don't feel like I should have. Yeah, you should switch out Incineroar there 100% of the time, I think. And sack it. So then you have a late game answer against Ferrothorn. So my opponent gave me this game. I feel like uh, they didn't really deserve to win, but we take those. Mm, kind of a weird game, honestly. Yeah, I think it, it just doesn't make much sense, in my opinion, to fate tiers one Pokemon. And maybe my opponent was just expecting to knock out the Cresselia, though. Like, that obviously is uh, what would make the most sense. Because it's like, oh, you know, specs Lunala against Cresselia. But I am max HP special defense, so I guess that's what my opponent would, like was caught off guard by, but I feel like you should always just go for um, the knockout immediately um, and just guarantee it. Like, why risk it? Why risk it for the biscuit? Uh, okay, we got Serena Kyogre here. I feel like this is definitely a Kyogre Ludi kind of game. And then in the back, I like Coco a lot here actually. Dazzling Gleam just does a lot. But I always like going Crest Crowd on as an answer as well. Yeah. It's hard playing with Groudon without um, Cresselia, I think. So I'm gonna bring it. I think, uh, yeah, so with Kyogre Ludi, I put on like immense offense pressure right away, and like my opponent's gonna lead Serena Kyogre. It's, like, that's fine, because I'm faster. Or we speed tie, could be one of the two. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna switch out into Cress here, and Grass Knot Kyogre. Haha, <laughs> so we're both switching out turn one. And <laughs> that does like no damage. Ooh, you turn. That was cool. Alright, that was a nice play by my opponent for sure. Uh, you have the Rage Powder here. So I'm just gonna help against Scald. That was a great play by my opponent though. Both of us not wanting to risk uh, the damage against Kyogre. I guess. Yeah, it's unlikely my opponent would stay in and just get Grass Knotted by Kyogre, so. That was kind of silly. Yeah, Vance Fold does do a lot, you do get a burn, and he's actually gonna spout, <laughs> actually survive. Um, another spout would be bad though. So I'll switch out and go for a Scald here. That did just over 50%, which is the main scary thing. Uh, I mean, I could switch into Groudon and Trick Room, but then I'm switching Groudon into Water Spout. He could get greedy now. Mm, I should play it safe though, I think. Yeah, uh, my opponent definitely played the first two turns better than me this game. <laughs> yeah, he's just gonna play it safe and follow me. Okay, that's good, because then I should knock out Clef. Yeah, so it's okay. Although that does so much damage still. Um, but now I can at least bring out Cresselia. That U-turn was really nice. Uh, it did all that physical damage against my Ludi. Uh, it's gonna be all Mence though, which is interesting. I feel like Serena would have been a better pick. Because like, I can trick him for sure. Yeah, I'm just gonna Thunder Kyogre. Oh, I could help me hand Thunder. You probably want to protect, but maybe you just assume you would survive. I think I'm just gonna Thunder and trick room. Because I can still win this game now with Cresselia Groudon. Yeah, and the main reason I'm thundering Kyogre's Origin Pulse isn't gonna knock me out, and uh, if once I get the Thunder off, Water Spout's doing less. If you switch into Serena, that's fine. Ah, but he's Scarfed and he wins his B-Tie. Yeah, Scarf isn't surprising, but... <clears throat> I think, uh... Yeah, we do Speed Tie because my ability went off first. So if I win the Speed Tie there, I win that game. But I should have I should have assumed it was Scarf. I just figured maybe he was, like, slower and he wasn't modest max speed like I am. But that should be game now, unfortunately. Uh, mainly because I can't hit the Salamence. Oh, if I Fire Punch Serena there, eh, I, I still lose anyway. Yeah. I was hoping to catch the Kyogre switching out into Serena. But then you have Life Orb Draco Meteor anyway. Or it wasn't Life Orb, it was just Draco Meteor. 
yeah, my opponent played way better than me the first two turns, uh, which ended up... Like, I should have just targeted down Serena more aggressively. So, all done on my opponent's end here. And, yeah, with Serena, most of the times you are going to be running uh, Scarf Ogre there, so it wasn't too surprising to see. I guess I should have considered the Speed Tie, but even with the Speed Tie, there's not much I can do there. I think I have to Thunder and Trick Room. Um, because if I switch into Groudon, I just take way too much damage and I lose my potential late-game, end-game sweeper. So, I don't think I'd play any differently, it was just unfortunate that he was also the exact same speed, modest max speed, which isn't exactly, like, that crazy. Uh, next game here, though, Sheninja, which is definitely really cool to see. Uh, as well as Ludiogre. So I think Ferrothorn's gonna be really good here. Uh, kinda wanna go Ludicoco here. I need a beat Sheninja, I need... It seems weird not bringing Kyogre here, but I think I'm actually gonna leave it on the bench and bring both Groudon and Ferrothorn. So, I normally bring Cresselia and Kyogre in both games, this time I'm doing neither. I think if, cause if my opponent brings Kyogre, then my Ludi just obviously takes advantage of the rain. Um, and I need both Groudon and Ferrothorn just to beat the Sheninja. I don't wanna have just one answer to it cause then it makes uh, playing against me a lot easier. So I think we'll probably play two more games. I think, what, what are we right now? Two and one, three and one. Um, that last game definitely kind of sloppy. If I could play it again, I probably would have actually maybe considered just double ice beaming into the into the uh, Serena. Actually, yeah, double ice beam is such a good play. Why did I not do that? Because I'm Scarf, so I'm faster. Uh, okay, not the lead I was anticipating. That's kind of interesting. I just fake out Thunderbolt. Yeah. I could fake out the Necrozma, I guess. Um, but I don't want to take any chip damage. Like, here you would probably fake out Coco. You should fake out Coco. I know Ludi's going to be faster. Although this is kind of annoying because if I just led Ludi Kyogre, I don't know like what my opponent does against that lead. But maybe my opponent was just thinking, okay, you're not going to lead Ludi Kyogre because I've got uh, my own Ludi Kyogre. Either way, Specs T Bolt and Electric Train still does a lot to Necrozma. He's gonna flinch. Yeah. That does so much. Um, Fulton Geyser does knock me out though. Okay. We should be faster with my loot. Yeah, that depends. Yeah, this is where if I had Kyogre, it'd be great, but I didn't bring it. Oh, I actually shouldn't have brought out. Route on. That was a mistake. Uh, I'm gonna click Precipice Blades here. Oh, interesting. Double switch out. Okay. That's okay. Oh my gosh. Crit there does so much damage. Yeah, that's really okay. Um, cause See, like, I actually did force the Shininja to come out, so I have multiple answers against it. I guess my opponent's answer against Rain, if I let it, was just to double switch turn one, which would have been a pretty good play. So this is kind of a weird game, where neither of us brought our Kyogres. Um, but having Fower Throw would be really good. And my Ludi is quite good as well. But Shininja is actually really good against my team. <laughs> Maybe I could actually just stay in and Fire Punch. I'm just worried if... He's timid max speed. Oh, yeah, I just don't want to risk speed ties. I don't think I can afford to. He actually switches out. Interesting. Grass Knot doesn't knock out, unfortunately. Oh, X's are one shots me. <laughs> yikes. Big yikes. Uh, I need to call the target here correctly. Because my Ferrothorn can win this game by itself. I would target down Groudon. Yeah. Just gonna protect knockoff here. Oof. Shininja's faster. Okay, nice. So at least I got the double up there. But the Ludi can still just come in. It's a weakness policy too. Maybe I need to double protect this game. If I get it, I probably win. You, you should bring out Ludicolo and just Grass Knock Groudon here. Double up onto Groudon. But he brought out Incineroar. That's weird. 
really weird, actually. Why would you do that? Um, I'm going to Swords Dance and Protect here. Okay, that's a good play. It's kind of an aggressive play, but it works out. Um, I don't think Precipice Blades knocks out. Do I go for the double? That was kind of annoying, just because I could have... Yeah, I guess that's a pretty safe play. But I feel like Moody is still just better to bring out. If I crit Precipice Blades, then I would just win. Um, but he's going to crit x -Scissor. Okay. Unless Precipice Blades at minus one, the Life Orb still knocks out Incineroar, but I don't think it does. Um, yeah, that was a well-played game by my opponent. I'll play one or two more. I don't... Yeah, I lost the last two games in a row. Um, let's, let's see. Reflecting on this one, Shininja was a problem. Mmm. Volta guys are knocking out immediately. That was bad. And I probably shouldn't have brought out Groudon, because if I just stayed in, then I could have scalded the Necrozma. So if I just... Nah, that's a tough call. Alright, let's look at this game, though. Okay. Um, ooh, Reshiram. This is definitely a Crest Groudon kind of game, I think, if I can set it up. I'll lead Coco, Crest, Groudon on the back. And Kyogre potentially is a late game sweeper, I think. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Probably fake out. Go for a fire type attack. I think you double up on a Coco. We're just gonna trick room. Oh, he actually fakes out Cress. Alright, that's fine. It's life or booty as well. I actually survive fusion player, okay nice. Um yeah, because I could just dazzling gleam trick room. And then Groudon just wins. Yeah, I'm not happy about those two losses in a row though, I think. Definitely could have played better. Like the one against the Serena Kyogre, I should have just doubled up immediately turn one. Like that was just a key mistake. And Spec Gleam is just doing a lot of consistent damage right now. Trick room will go up. Probably knock me off in Fusion Flare. But I want the free switch and into Groudon, so I'm just gonna gravity and dazzling gleam. God, he's actually gonna fake me out. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> Didn't think my I'd be getting another dazzling gleam off with Coco under Trick Room, but it looks like I will. And now Ego's gonna come out. Yeah, that was just not a good turn by my opponent because I survived the attack and you get rid of my berry which is just like now you knock your knockoffs do less damage as well this is so weird i did not think uh he's probably gonna have the berry on incineroar yeah um but now my kyogre will just get a free switch in yeah i pinned my opponent down and he flare blitzes <laughs> so i even get the psychic off okay yeah so now i bring out groudon um and I can just Precipice Blades. I think I'll switch into Kyogre out as well. Yeah, because Precipice Blades knocks out everything on my opponent's team now. Um, it's just like if Ludi gets a free switch in, but Ludi can't take care of Groudon and Kyogre at the same time. Oh, it actually does switch out into Ludi. I think Precipice Blades honestly maybe still knocks out. Yeah. I actually get a crit. Um, I don't know if that mattered, honestly. It might have. That was a good play by my opponent. Um, I think I made the one play that maybe gave my opponent a chance to get back in. But I was assuming Precipice Blades knocks out Ludi. Especially because he's Life Orb. So he's probably just like max offense. Um, either way, I should just switch out Kyogre to Water Spot and win the game. Yeah. That's fine. Knocks out Cress. Yeah, it's okay. Because we know he's not Scarf now, you go. So we can just Water Spot and close it up. I'll play one more. I did not like losing those two games in a row. Nice. We see a lot of Ludis on a lot of teams, though, just to counter the rain, which is kind of cool and interesting. Okay. Mm Could go Ludi Ogre again. 
but I don't like that here with the Ludi here. I think I'm gonna go Coco. Something like Ludi Lele would be really deadly. Coco. Coco Ludi. Maybe I'll bring my own Kyogre here because it does match up pretty nicely against most of these guys. Ferrothorn is a big enough threat that I think I need Crowd on. Alright, so he's just gonna go Kyogre Ludi. So it's not Scarfed. Um, I don't know whose Ludis are faster. So I could just fake out Thunder Kyogre, but I feel like Kyogre probably switches out here. I'm gonna go for the fake out onto Ludi. Nice. It's like if I win the speed tie, then I'm in a really good. It, I don't even know if it's a speed tie potentially. And I actually just get the knockout. That's a perfect turn one. Excellent. Yeah, I didn't even bring the Krosma, so I'm in a really good spot now. Uh, I just need to play around the Ferrothorn and then end the game beating, knocking it out with Groudon. I'm just gonna Thunder and Scald here. You can't knock out both Pokemon. Should proc its berry. Oh, it actually doesn't. It's bulkier than I thought it was. Ooh, and my opponent misses Power Whip, which is unfortunate. So another Thunder will just knock it out. I'll just go for a Scald onto Ferrothorn. Yeah, that turn one pretty much sealed up the game for me, honestly. Um, which is why I just risked it there. Yeah, and Power Whip wasn't even knocking me out anyway, so I don't even feel that bad. Um, Gyro Ball is actually not a bad at attack against Ludicolo. I'm just gonna Thunder and Scald. And that's exactly why I did bring the Groudon in the back. That just, yeah, <laughs> suspects Coco really coming through this game. And uh, not enough consistent damage output for my opponent right now. So, yep, we do get a win. If you guys enjoyed, um, definitely some losses that I learned a lot from. That last one kind of sloppy as well, but overall a really fun episode. And we just continue to climb up a little bit. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please share support by leaving a like. And plenty of content coming your way soon. I'll catch you guys soon. Peace.